Hello everybody, welcome back to the Medbros channel. We have Beneath here again, and we are gonna go ahead and do another tier list video, because you guys always enjoy those tier lists, and they always get a little controversial, actually, surprisingly. We don't have shaman. Yeah, so. no shaman yet. He will be arriving soon. We're gonna be starting the podcast up as well, so make sure you guys subscribe down below and, uh, and keep your eye out for that. So let's get into this video. This is, we're gonna go ahead and put the third year rotations, third and fourth year, really, required rotations, on a tier list because we enjoyed different rotations differently and uh, rank some higher than others, some we really hated. So, Beneath, why don't you start off? What, which one do you want to talk about first? Okay, well, do you have a preference? No, let's just go down the list. Okay, let's start with internal medicine. Okay, so getting the bread and butter, the basic rotation out of the so way. What, what did you, you think? Put on the tier list. What what do you give Okay, so before we give it anything, I'm going to tell you my experience with it. I started off it was my, like maybe my third rotation. I had an okay time. Uh, I did it at, it also is very dependent on where you do your rotation. I did it at a place that wasn't very uh, hands-on with the students. So it was a very hands-off experience. You get a patient or two, you go do whatever you want. Uh, you come back with your plan. The attendings barely listen to you. So in terms of the fun factor that I had, still I got to talk to patients. It was my first kind of making plans and stuff. I would go ahead and put this one straight up on the B tier list. Very run of the mill, very standard, very vanilla kind Did of. Did you rotation. have all inpatient? Uh, yeah, internal medicine, all inpatient. You yeah. had all inpatient. Yeah. Okay, so ours was split into inpatient and outpatient. So I almost feel like I have different tier lists for both. Okay. Um, you can kind of put the outpatient maybe in family med right now. Just talk okay. about inpatient. Okay, so inpatient, I am. <laughs> you're going with the worst tier list there. Really? Um, so I think, uh, so we had it at Mayo, obviously. And uh, anything Mayo, y'all, is involved, which is good. It's really great for learning. But like the standard you're held to is obviously high um, because doctors are academic doctors. Like they're there at an academic institution, involved in research, they love teaching and et cetera, et cetera. And it's uh, a lot of hands-on stuff. Um, so you're, you almost never really get to run free uh, anywhere there. And um, I would say don't like hmm. how broad it is. I don't like how a lot of the times there's a lot of inefficiency mm -hmm, that um, and that would irk me like the inefficiency would really irk me because I'm somebody who Herman can attest to this if I have even a couple hours in my day a half hour even that's not useful and mm -hmm. I'm sitting around I get angry oh as a medical student I will actually completely agree with you and well, medical I don't get student, angry I am... as a med student I'm saying that in life I get angry when I waste time sure yeah yeah I know but as a medical yeah. student going through I am there is going to be a lot of time wasting, which yes. I didn't really think about. You're gonna go see your patient, you're waiting on your attending, then you sit around for the but rest of the like day. But even like residents, they're not wasting time. They're not sitting around, exactly. but there's inefficiency. Like they're working, but in an inefficient way. And that right. would give my heart pain. <laughs> like so I didn't you, like it. What do you rate it? I would rate it a generous B. Like oh, that's a wow, generous. Oh wow, that's high for all that stuff you just said. Okay, let's be <laughs> just, yeah, I don't want to get shit on. on scene, Listen bro. guys, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I just think it's not for me. So, well, my rotation specifically was not great. So okay. yeah, C, C. All right, so yeah, that's what I'm talking I about. I had an attending tell me I wasn't uh, telling my senior I wasn't enthusiastic enough with how many patients I was taking. I was freaking taking four to five patients as a med student, <laughs> yeah. and I had to take six the next day. Like, are you freaking kidding me? Yeah. That attending had a terrible reputation, but that already botched like my half my experience. Yeah, it's fun to start putting together your plans and stuff, but like really in the end, they no one listens to them. You sit around, you wait. Residents are doing their work after rounds. You're kind of just sitting around. So okay, my residents were meeting and B. So we're gonna put that overall. On the C. We'll throw it on the C, C tier. Aren't you an IM resident? Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot of things, like I said, that I am, just because you do something, it doesn't mean it's the best, the best. That's why in our previous tier list, we got a couple salty people where they're like, oh, why is surgery this low? Oh, peds shouldn't be this low. Like, bro, like you can still be in the in the resident residency and, and be in the program and specialty and love it, but at the same time realize there's a lot of shortcomings within your field as well. Very so, true. Very um, true. yeah, See, I am has a long way to go. Anyway. Next one is pediatrics. 
Oh, my P's rotation was great actually. So unfortunately I had to drive a little bit because it was a little far. I got really close with my, um, what, what were they attending at the time? And uh, she would take me to sushi almost oh, every- this was this person, I remember. Initially, I will say it got a little costly because initially she was paying for it. And then she started being like, oh, maybe we should split it. And it ended up being a lot of money at the end of the rotation. Cause how are you gonna say no every time? Cause she loved her sushi. Really? And the thing is, if you say, no, I don't want sushi taste, you'd be like, ugh. But yeah, so I tried to be cool with her at the same time. It was very costly. You were an M4 when she was doing M3, that? and then I went back for a oh, couple okay. weeks to do M4, yeah. So mm -hmm. a pediatric, and then the kids were great. Giving out stickers was great. The, the general, I think during my entire time that we had one patient that was jaundice and we had to go figure out what was going on. Other than that, it was very standard care stuff. Okay. So I give this rotation, P's rotation, an A. I would give mine a, I wish I could give it like an A minus. Okay, is that a thing? No, we gotta pick a tier. This is the same problem I had last time. It's Why? What are the negatives? Um, so I felt like, again, like I was at the dismissal of the chief residence and sometimes it's literally like the med student just sits there and wastes time. Yeah, I think a lot of your issues and a lot of people across the board with rotations, the issue is getting out of there when the learning and educational portion is done it's done and yeah. like past a certain point like i don't even care if you keep me there until seven if i'm doing stuff though yeah. like if i was in surgery even if i'm not a surgery person at the very least i'm in a surgery though right until seven or something but like if i'm sitting there and like i've even self studied for a couple hours and like i checked on my patients said hi like stuff like that like and you're just a chief resident kind of just wearing the same workroom. You're just watching me kind of just flounder around and I have a 45 yeah. minute drive home and yeah. like, bro, just like, let me go. Like, I mean, I had, a, I definitely would say that I worked longer hours in a peds ER on that rotation. And I loved that. Oh, wow. And yeah, I, I, that's why I would give it an A. I would lean it more towards A because that PEDS ER portion. Okay, so I PEDS is going on the A. So hopefully that appeases some of the pediatrics that come after us on the tier list. So in surgery. Uh, general surgery. I don't, you know, general surgery itself, the rotation, whatever you do, I don't think there's any saving in this rotation. If you're out there and you love it, that's great. Honestly, if things were structured differently, uh, lifestyle was structured differently, if hours were structured differently, I might be a surgeon right now, but that's a whole nother video about why I'm going to put up a video about why I specifically didn't do surgery, but the rotation itself, grueling hours, mm -hmm. same thing again and again, for the most part where I did my rotation once in a while, you see something fascinating. Other than that, it's another cholecystectomy. You stand there, you scrub in. It's really just the same thing again. And yeah. Again. If we're rating the, our rotational experiences yeah. though, I'm going to give it a B because your girl was in surgery and COVID times where oh. our workload, our oh. OR, was operating at 50% capacity, meaning Dang. there was very, very, very less surgeries. Like my attending would have maybe like five, six surgeries a week. Whoa. So there was beautiful. Whoa. But at the same time, again, I don't really get to ho go home because nobody tells you to go home until like bloody four or five or yeah. even six or seven if you're just sitting around for six hours. So it's still though, I can't complain. So I'm gonna give it a B. Wow, I'm gonna give it a D. So then we're gonna land this in the C yeah. tier list. We're rating list. our rotation, so that's yeah. why I'm giving it a B. If I have to give the damn specialty something, we've already discussed. That. <laughs> yeah, we've already discussed that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This one is going to be psychiatry. Oh, who? Can we just skip to the score? This is an S. A. S. S. Oh yeah, I forgot we have S. Oh S dang. Man, S tier. This is amazing patients. All amazing my attendings were all amazing. Yep. Every Respectful lifestyle is great, time. but oh man, Got autonomy. let you go on your own time. Like, perfect. Actually, rotation. told me that even when they did presentations and stuff, were very supportive, listened to me, gave me a chance to talk. Yeah. Uh, very reasonable. I just loved it all around. Yeah, one of my favorite rotations. I always tell the story. I, I showed up on my first day. It was my first ever rotation on third year. I have no idea what to expect. I walk in and and there was this really nice attendee, so good with his patients. It was inpatient behavioral, so really insane kind of patients that need some serious psych help. Um, and then we just go see him. He's this old man. He knows how to deal with all these kind of really uh, belligerent patients at the end of the rotation, which is like one one and a half hour when we rotate throughout every person. We just stand there and he goes, okay, we're done. 
and he looks at you with a smile because he knows he's just letting you Aww. go. He was the sweetest old guy, I remember. I think it's Dr. R or something. I forget his name. But um, really great guy. Great rotation. Yeah. S tier. I have nothing bad to say about psychiatry. Amazing. Maybe you should have gone. Maybe I should have gone into yeah, we all <laughs> think, uh, Me, Herman, and Shaman, actually. Shaman, probably the most considered psychiatry. You did too. Shaman would be an amazing yeah. psychiatrist. And then I never really considered it because I love Durham so much. Yeah, but guys, it's up there yeah. if I had to consider something else. If Durham did not exist. Okay, OBGYN. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. This is another one. Uh, personally, my rotation, especially. Get, it makes us oh, an F tier. Is bad. Yours is bad. I saw insane attendings. A uh, couple of them. Violent. One was <laughs> terrible. I pushed one of uh, the kids out of the the medical students out of the way, asking the dumbest questions, being super rude. She knows none of us medical students should know some of this stuff. Acting terrible in the OR. I could go on and on about some of these OB-GYN attendings. It wasn't one. It wasn't two. It wasn't three. It was like literally almost all of them. One of them was really good. Luckily, she was the one that uh, gave kind of the recommendations and the mm -hmm. score, so I got honors on it mm -hmm. just because of her. Because man, the rest of them were F tier all day for me okay so again i'm trying to rate my experience right? yeah it's our experience my experience i had two separate places so i did ob at an outside hospital and i did gyne surgery at mayo um i had great people who i learned things from from both i had great kind people in both but there were definitely some attendings uh that were pretty rough around the edges and I think they are known for being a little rough around the edges. And it's always OB kind of attendings. Why? And uh, yeah, so I would rate my gyne portion worse off than my OB portion. Oh, really? OB, okay. I would give that shit an, an A. Oh, an A? Yeah. Oh, wow. My residents were a. really, really nice in OB. Oh, wow. They were very nice. I did a lot in OB, too. Like, I attendings would literally let me goddamn deliver the baby because the resident had to go somewhere. Like, they wow. were... I never, and I, they wasn't affiliated with Mayo. Like, they yeah. were, there's a separate school. They don't know me. They've never seen me. They're, there's a separate medical school associated with the place I went to. So they were very, very nice to me. Um, I have no complaints about my OB. Uh, so I, I would give it an A tier for OB um, and then a C tier for Gyne. Wow. Wow. So, yeah, I'm giving it an F. So we're going to average it out to put it in C. C. Yeah. Sure. I remember my OB rotation was not as bad either, I guess. But, like, it was actually pretty bad at the same time. I walked in one day. The resident was not there. The baby was straight up being delivered and screaming. The attending needs help. I ran in, put the gown on and everything. And the resident comes like, you stole my gown. I was supposed to get in that uh, delivery bill. I was like, bro, you wasn't there. I'm, of <laughs> course, going to pick the closest gown. Like, shut up, bro. But um, whatever it is, it was... Uh, it was a terrible rotation. Exactly. Yeah, not very good first time. What is it about OB guy that what is going on in these residency programs that they go in? I know a couple of OBs, you know, one of my good friends from medical school going into OB. She's a great, great, amazing, fun person. I have no doubt by the time she's done with her residency, some shit's going to go down. I don't know what transformative thing happens in these rotations. These guys See, come out. I mean, I have so much respect for like people who do it's it. It's not about, yeah, it's not about respect. But about, yeah. like definitely like I was very blessed and fortunate with the, even chief residents I got were so nice that's what like, i mean like something happens with no, transition chief, the chief was nice too some, like they, they were really nice people in mine year. but the experiences i know what you're talking about too like yeah. that i've heard of and stuff like they're bad bad okay anyway okay. beat ob guy up enough fam med fam med i'm just gonna go straight to the b it's fine i'm gonna go to d Whoa, what? <laughs> yeah, I was sick of that what shit. What happened? This is my last rotation, bro. What's wrong was, with Fan Med? I was ready to leave, man. I was sick. Okay, also you have to understand my demographic was not a normal demographic. Okay. My demographic of patients was all 50 plus. Okay. Um, that all makes it even very easier. similar diabetes, hypertension. Okay. It's easy. Yeah. But bro, I'm tired. After okay. that many things, the clerkships back to back and leaving yeah, maybe at six. Yeah, maybe it's a Inefficiency that, again, yeah. like... I didn't have a problem with it, but I was just getting tired, man, of the same thing that hours of notes, like I was just getting tired. Yeah, for me, very standard run of the mill. Maybe yours is situational. We're gonna put it in C. the C category is fine. <laughs> That's fine. It's it's It really is just middle of the board, family met is family met, you know? Yeah. The rotation is Maybe what I it is. Maybe I could have been nicer, but I was just really tired, guys, by that time. So guys, that's going to cover it for the really main core rotations. You might have done emergency med. You might have done, you know, some additional elective stuff. We just covered the main core stuff that every third year does. Um, you know, neurology, ER, this kind of ICU. Sometimes people do it fourth year and it's mixed around. So that's going to be it for this video. Those are the core rotations that every medical student, all you guys out there are going to be doing this upcoming 
third year uh, or again in your fourth year and uh and we rated them for you so if you agree disagree let us know in the comments no, down below get people who disagree and agree but you want to hear it let me know your tier list down below and don't forget to subscribe while you're down there and we'll see you guys in the next one bye guys